Hello everyone, this is not your first program by Defortune Pest Solutions. My name is Amina Mohamed. So this program we will enlighten and educate the public about pest management, pest control, everything, pest issues and all. So today we'll be talking about a pest that is very common in so many homes and this pest causes allergies. So you know at times you sleep and you wake up, you find red, red patches on your skin and you're like, oh is this bed bug? I'm not talking about bed bugs actually. So today we'll be talking about dust mites. And today I'll be bringing in my one and only pest expert. He's a professor in pest management and control. And we welcome O, Professor Ayodeji of the Fortune Pest Solution. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome, thank you, sir. thank you, Ramina. Thank you. At least you've made me a professor now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I am a professor. Yes. Am I already professor? I'm good to. I'm glad to be here. Welcome, sir. We are so glad to have you on the show today. So today we said we are talking about um, house mites. So please, sir, can you tell us what you know about house mites? Yeah, thank you. Mites. Mites is um, is an arachnid. Okay. It belongs to the arachnid family of insects. And the particular one that you mentioned, the dust mite, the one you surely see in homes. You know, a lot of people, they are invisible to the physical eyes, to the optical eyes. You may not really be able to, like, oh, see it fall around. But they are very active. Millions of it are only in their living spaces. Wow. And they appear to our eyes like dust. Wow. You know, and they are very, they carry a lot of allergens. You know, they are very, carry a lot of allergens. So that's dust mites. Thank so, you. So, sir, can you tell us how harmful these mites are to humans in general? Yeah, thank you. You know, generally, they could be termed to be, to be parasitic in nature. Okay. You know, they cause cabies, okay. they cause skin irritation, red okay. patches in the skin, okay. because oftentimes they live and feed on the, the dead part, the, the dead skin. For example, when you, when you sleep on your bed, your pillow, as well as the couch, the couch where you usually relax, that's where you see a lot of these bed uh, okay. mites, right. because they grow, they are there in millions. Because they feed on the, the, the dead part of the skin okay. and they develop them. But you can't see them in your physical height. A lot yeah. of people always think they are bed bug. But they are not bed bug. These are dust mites. Okay. And they are in every home. In fact, they trigger, according to the report, they cause almost 50% of the asthmatic case all over the world. Wow. They are actually triggered by what's wow. called wow. dust mites. Wow. Wow. Dust wow. Mites. wow, thank you very much, sir. So, how do we control these house mites since they cause so many arms? Okay, thank you, Amina. So one of the ways to, like we say, cleanliness, this is less to wellness. You need to always ensure, especially so yeah, temperature is important, you know, might be high in temperature. High temperature up to 56 to 57 degrees Celsius or 130 degree Fahrenheit, they can't survive it. So that means you need to ensure you change your bed sheet as often as possible, change your pillowcases, you know, your beddings as often as possible. And um, you can have an opportunity to those brushes and get them in a, in a machine that would generate up to 57 degrees Celsius of, of temperature heat. So it's going to terminate all those things. So, so cleanliness is very key. Another thing, another way is that which you can ensure your home is vacuum. Vacuuming of your, you can, when you use your you vacuum, you know, you need to use a vacuum that have a high suction capacity that can suck dirt out of surfaces and beddings so you suck you can vacuum your bed vacuum your sofa vacuum your regular touch place yeah, where you rest a lot where you slide maybe your sofa your couch your bed your children bed you can vacuum them change your bed as often as possible and the other chemical product that could be used to yeah. control mites you know like we said mites are not just microorganisms they are they are not insects as well because you see, insect has three parts of the body. They have the head, the thorax, of the abdomen, and they have three pairs of legs. But in case of mice, they only have two parts of the body. Oh. The head and the thorax are joined together in the lower abdomen, and they have four pairs of legs. So they are, they are not insect, but they are rational. So, chemicals can help to control them. That is why it's important you always have a pest control contract for your home. Get a pest control contract that can serve your home for an annual visa. Some of these, some of these, we offer you at first shop at the first room. I will give you an annual pest control, you know, subscription where you can have your home treated regularly, you know. And like I said, if you if you clean your environment regularly, you vacuum regularly, you have it, you have less of such thing around you. But you see, even when you can't achieve that, call your pest control expert, 
a licensed one at that. Remember, license. Don't just call anybody on the street. Yeah. That's the government is very key. Say no to quiet. Don't patronize quiet. It will, you may try to cure mites and you may get further infestation, infection, or disease. So always ask for the licenses. You know. So that is it. That's how to control it. And there are a lot of chemicals even at pest shop that can help. The insecticide like dermatrine. We, we talk about MC Delta, dermatrine, oh, bifentrine, PBO. These are some of those chemicals that that might cannot stand them within mm. two minutes, one minute, thirty seconds. They are terminated. Okay, thank you very yeah. much, sir. I I hope you all gained from this session because I really gained a lot. So those mites, uh, they are dead already. They are <laughs> dead because with everything he has already said on how to control them, I think we've already gained and um, measures or, or measures on which we can control these mites. Um, hope you had a wonderful session because I did. Thank you so much, sir. My pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here and to have you at our handcuff person for today. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Know Your Pest. So, you know, you have to leave LD, you have to leave clean because pests cause disease. So, if you want to know if you have any inquiries about pest issues or management, please just click on our bio or you call the number or you send mails to us on the emails that will be displayed or call the numbers that will be displayed. Meet you next time. Thank you.